from first secretary to chairman of the ruling Workers' Party. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un has been promoted to yet higher position in the party as a rare party congress wrapped up in Pyongyang. Securing the legitimacy of the Kim family's third generation rule is set to be the biggest outcome of the congress. Unification ministry correspondent Connie Kim for us this morning. North Korea's highest political gathering in nearly four decades came to a close on Monday, giving the North Korean leader a new title. North Korea's Korean Central Television reported Monday, Kim Jong-un was elected as a chairman of the ruling Workers' Party of Korea. The title Kim will be given was a highlight of the convention, as Pyongyang said it will give the leader the party's top title. Kim's promotion to the party's chairman is seen as a move to dominate the party and consolidate his power as a young Kim has been seeking to secure the legitimacy of the ruling Kim family's dynasty. In addition, four media that were allowed access inside the convention has reported that the party now has five standing members of the Workers' Party of Korea. Kim Jong-un, Kim Young-nam, Hwang Byung-seo, Choi Ryong-hae and Park Bong-ju. This means two additional party members, Party Secretary Choi ryong hae and Premier Park Bong-ju have been added to the Standing Committee of the Workers' Party of Korea's Political Bureau. The four-day convention kicked off with an opening speech from Kim Jong-un, followed by a two-day briefing of the party's works. On the following day, Pyongyang adopted a statement that said it will pursue economic development and boost the state's self-defensive nuclear force, both in quality and quantity, supporting the so-called Pyongjin policy spearheaded by leader Kim Jong-un. The North's highest political gathering has come to an end, but the general consensus seems to be that the young Kim used this rare party convention to reaffirm North Korea's position as a nuclear state, which will further isolate it from the international community. Connie Kim, Arirang News.